Okay, back again. Well, it's uh, after I plugged it in, I thought, oh, it's about to say, I was saying, oh, it's going to stay on. And then the reboot, I haven't seen that before, and that may be what's been happening, and I just never saw it because I used to walk away and not think about it. But the reboot screen came up, so I thought, well, got no choice, I got to hit it. Just as I was hitting it, I thought, I see that the camera's still recording. So uh, if I'd have hit the back button and got out of the reboot screen, then I might not have lost my, you know. And it's not good for the videos because it doesn't, it, it, it'll play in VLC and you can upload it to video YouTube, but some programs won't recognize them. If they think they're a broken file and, uh, and the fast forward doesn't work right in, in the VLC media player. So I don't like to do that, but uh, have that happen. Anyway, let's get back to what I was doing. Wind's going pretty good out here, so that's good because it's Yeah, when I was cutting that, of course I was in a little bit of an awkward position, but uh, that thing did not have enough power. It kept wanting to stop. And uh, of course it is a pretty thick blade, but you know, any I've, I've used grinders and nothing how they should operate. I, mean, I just never bought them. And uh, well, I did a lot of grinding in my job back in the 70s uh, with small air power grinders. That's all I did all day for three years. Uh, hand finisher. I think I've aimed too low. Well. May have moved a little bit. Yeah, it did. It's a uh, my little setup is good, but it's not perfect. There. Now. <coughs> touching the little bracket that I showed a while ago and I wondered what in the heck that's supposed to accomplish and I finally saw it in a video today they just happened to pass like put your grounding ball back in and other people call it a ball bearing like oh, you know, a bear. and uh, some of the other videos but, uh, so what I'm debating about is should I cut this notch out wait a minute I don't need that notch I'm not gonna use I don't need that ball bearing Pushing is steep. My bracket is steep. And since I ground, grounded on it, it'll get a good ground. So it's what it is is to keep, uh, it's to ground the tub. And you know, you get a lot of static electricity when you walk dry clothes. So they need, it needs to be grounded. And then, in case there were electrical short, uh, you wouldn't really want to ground it then, but like if you're getting clothes out of the dryer. But anyway, I'm sure it's for the, uh, to dissipate the static electricity most likely more than anything. But I was debating about should I go ahead and cut it off there. I don't need it for it to work. It's better if I better if it didn't matter. Yeah, I don't need that because even if I was going to use the original mounting screws, which I don't think I am now, uh, all I have to do is stick this up there, mark it, drill it, and then you know it'll fit. The only reason that notch was in there, I kept looking at that going, do I need to do that? But the only reason that notch was in there is so that that, ground, that ball could get grounded. Okay, now I understand. Now see, it was like this. And it wore out, wearing through the bracket. You see, there was a, there was a little hole in there that you stick that. I told you to put some grease on there, put the instructions, yeah, put some grease on there, put the ground, put the ball in there. And of course, they found that it's called grounding ball, and then it's actually touching the plate on the back side of the dryer that's, uh, that's, that's to catching the threads on this screw. I guess it's a little harder to metal than the case of the dryer. So it does stay. I mean, it's just enough to hold it. But, and that, you know how heavy a dryer drum gets with all the clothes in it and everything. Shapes, it's, it's not like, uh, 
scale. Let's see, I used to be a tool maker too, and I had a lot of my first, very first job was in a machine shop. So I've done machine work too over the years when I was younger. Anyway, I was, when I was a tool maker, I used this up all over the. But I could read it. Not the tiniest ones, but I could read the. I could, you know, I think at one point I couldn't read the smallest ones, but now it just looked like a decorations or something. That's 700. Okay, yeah, 700. I had it for just right on. So, I think I want it kind of in the center. Yeah. Because I want it, I might want it a little closer out. I don't know how far that ball goes. And I would rather it, you know, I don't want it falling out of here. So, I would rather it be like that. I kind of like for it to be in the center. Oh, yeah, I had that kind of figured out. Let's see. Yeah, I can tell with this where it would want to be. I set this up in there, flush it with that. And then I set this up on top of it. Okay. You can pretty well see where it's going to be. Going by the center of this, where it's in the center of this, this original map. And of course, this is a little thickness there, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, right there. This is going to be. really not that critical, that's why I'm not doing it very much with my calipers or something. Kind of really good at that. I just want to get an idea. Yeah, about a half inch off of there is going to be it, I see. Yeah, I'll drop it if I try to measure my size. I was going to kind of compare it.
why I kind of split the shot. So it would be kind of showing. Oh, I looked at it. You can see a preview even when it's not recording. You gotta look and see if it looks red. Or the red, the button's red. Anyway, well, it's kind of simple. Center punch. I didn't grip my hammer though. I forgot it. Okay, man, I should have grabbed my counter punch. I don't know. Anything. Oh, yeah, I better. I can't see that good anymore. and drill bits. I used to do them by eyeball if I really was inclined to. So I got the box of drills first. I think these are actually, that's kind of a mixture of drills. This is a whole set, but I think they're not really all that hard. It's a quarter twenty, I know that, but I want to see what, I want a drill big enough to hold. Okay, it's actually two four, well it's close to two feet. really about 240 so if I get 250 and I want probably a little bigger than 250 which is a quarter inch drill something rough and I don't care then I use that. See I use these for three years different sizes and air motors to hand finish things. We had to 
deburr hand finish and some like fuel hole fittings or fuel hole fittings went in the F-16 airplane fighter jet. So we're working on uh, so we're building uh, the fuel inlet, fuel pass through through the bulkheads. Those had to be sanded to be flat within seven thousandths of an inch. So that's <laughs> this thing's really not accurate. sizes here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I think I will use that one. That looks like a good pile of this one. I think this, that box, that particular grill in that box looks in better shape than what was in the uh, other box that had that grill that I think I want to use to drill the holes out with. <laughs> you can't blame the cord on that grinder not working good because this is the 20 amp circuit and the 20 amp cord I'm using here. And the other one, the 100 foot, you know, on a 15 amp circuit is the uh, one running the can. Okay. <coughs> drills at all the batteries are bad now. Not one of them will work now. But this is, and I bought this back in the 80s, it still works. <coughs> and it's a, it's foreign, but it's Makita, which of course is a well-known brand now, but it was a brand new brand when I got it. I was working in the cabinet shop and the owner bought a bunch of them. I realized those are pretty good. So I decided to get myself one. Let's see if we're still in the shot. Yep. This is a little high, isn't it? Whoops, kicked the whole thing. There. If I can see my mark I made.
the button with the gloves on. Do it that way. What are you doing up there? You're flashing it too far up. <laughs> I was past its pivot point, I guess. What the button up there? Straw's nice, but oh, you don't have to use the straw. It's really actually harder to hit the spot with this. You can't hold still or something. That's what you're saying. I don't really see it. See if I can feel it. It feels like I got it. Still don't. Still don't screw that up. Your drill drill bits will last a hundred times longer if you'll keep look keep them lubricated. Keep them lubricated. Dude. That doesn't seem like you might ought to have to do that on just such a small hole on a eight inch angle arm. Actually, the way that thing's kind of bent, if I want to kick it one way or the other, I can. I'm just spinning it around, but I, I still want to stick with my plan, which way it seems to be lean. Okay, uh, yeah, I could clamp it. I could, uh, well, that would be making it too low, I think. I don't know if it matter. I just realized I could put it in between those two nuts and keep it from moving at all. That's probably what I should be doing. That I wanted. Well, it doesn't matter. I put this where it just looks like it's the right height compared to those original mounting holes. Yeah, but those holes I'm going to drill. I think I will use the one I'm going to use. Let's see. Yeah, dropping it down another, you know, quarter, three-eighths of an inch. Might not be. Well, it wouldn't matter if I amount this where it should be, where it needs to be. I think it would be better. It's not just a push there. I was thinking about it, you know, being closer to that, but that's way too high anyway. Really, this part's not going to do anything. It's just the sides. It starts rolling up. It should just...
usually like to just spray them. It doesn't really matter. In this case, I'll do it that way. A lot of times I don't want the work piece to be covered in WD-40. My biggest problem is going to be this thing moving around. That drill is as sharp as I thought it was. It's actually been used weed, which doesn't look dull, but it don't cover the crap. Another, but at least two more of that size. The one that I thought look I saw that it looked like it had been worn quite a bit on the shank. So evidently I've used it. Oh. Sorry I'm blocking the shot. It's cutting good. Keep the drill bit cool. That's one of the main things, keeping it cool. And look at the metal. Some of those, those little ones are broke, but the rest of those ones I just tried were pretty good. Too.
Can you hear that air compressor loud enough for you? It's only 115 bucks. Brand new. It'll do 150 pounds at 4.1 CFM. So hopefully I can run an impact wrench intermittently. We'll find out. That's why I left. That's why I left. So I said I was to myself I was gonna leave those nuts like that. It's the exact right height for the uh, filling the gaps. So I'm not gonna cut chain. That goes really bends. It's weird. You don't notice how much it bends until you flip it that way. <laughs> it seems to want to sit better that way. I can't really tell, you know, earlier I was saying it wanted to kick more. It's actually not going to go very far because it's going to hit the angle. So. It might be good that it can wobble a little. Yeah, I don't think that's as, I'm not as inclined to liking that. Leaning like that. I don't know why it does that. That makes sense, really. It's really out of shape, you know, it's, it's spread apart a lot, so. Anyway, that looks okay, I think. I think that's I just gotta get some quarter quarter. I'll probably get some lock washers and quarter twenty nuts. That'll be it. Screw it down. Then I'll put it up there and kind of figure out where I want it. Let's try one more time with that. Oh, that gives me more room on that side. I don't know if that actually matters. Must have been how I originally. Well, I, I, I just didn't. I was measuring the holes. Well, no, I was measuring it there. Yeah, it looks to me still like it's the same. I guess that's the way I had it because when you put it in that way, it seems to move the whole thing. Yeah. For me to keep it in. Yeah, that moves it closer that way. I can see that. I put the scale down in the grooves. Yeah. I'll look at it. I'll measure it off. Even though that seems funny, I need, I do need my room like, I, this is kind of going to, oh, well, I can move that, drill my holes like right there, and put it back. I was thinking it's going to be the way I might even have to put my holes, but I don't want my holes up there. I want them right there. But that'll move, so that's fine. But I do want this on there so that I can situate it. Go ahead and tighten it onto here, and I can do that, do that. distance is really no it does make a difference I think I must have had it like that when I measured it off
under there just in case it did. And I, it wouldn't get too wet before I could get run out here and get it. Okay, now let's. take this and then come back get this camera See, this is a little, it can come loose if you don't watch out, so. <laughs> all right, here we go. But if I leave it plugged in and hang on to it good, then it should be all right. just remembered well let's look in here first because if I just have two these are more pretty well sometimes I end up throwing new ones in there that's kind of been my old stock I usually you know I kind of use a lot of quarter 20 so end up being out of them but I did buy some I have some new ones over there but I just realized all I'll show it around here and show you I don't know why all that okay that's all drills the left one is a got a drill a sawzall the right one's got two drills and, and their cases and then the box cardboard box is a my my uh, saber saw that the case is splitting in half so that's another tool i want to try to fix try to glue it back together or something but i want to buy some back i'm gonna go ahead and buy some batteries for those i was debating about uh getting uh they're cheaper now you know the nickel cadmium i was debating about getting the new kind of batteries but you spend a fortune getting those things so that's what i'm planning now but uh let's see if there's a quarter 20 in there gotta have it where i can see it anyway i didn't want to dr uh, dig all that stuff down from there if i don't have to I think I'm going to have to. Some of these are really rusty, but you know, you can soak them in transmission fluid. And really, if you, the best thing if you want to soak them is transmission fluid because that, uh, I, sometimes I just spray rust buster on stuff and leave it in a, well, it won't evaporate too bad, but you can, transmission fluid is a lot cheaper and it'll do about as good. Yeah, I think it does as good over time. Now there's one, it's really good. Really Yeah, now as we put being mosquitoes are starting to bother me, and I'm fixing enough to get a snack pretty soon too. But let's see if we can find those quarter twenties right before we go and snack. I'll have to stop the video to get go get a snack. Uh, be silly to keep it going. I'll get me a protein bar. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I've got too much junk in here, and so everything's got its place, but it but it has to be moved to get to me. <laughs> but the thing is, that big old yellow bag, that was you know I used that all the time until the batteries went bad. And there's my steel saw that I tried to use it and it fell fell apart. Oh, that's an impact wrench that my friend gave me that I need to rebuild. I forgot about that. Uh, hopefully.
hopefully I can get it working again. I saw some videos. Now that's my 12 volt wall. Now here's the other one. That is my um, old first one. It's a Makita and it's a. I thought it was a 6 volt, but the other day I was looking on the battery and stuff. To, well, or I was looking on it or something. And I think it's actually like a 10 volt or something. And put it up where you can see the top of the desk because you can't see nothing going on below the edge of that. Mosquitoes are starting to really come out. It must be getting late. We're just going to have to scale it. I still don't quite get it. Well, that's around 700. And that's not 700. Oh, I wasn't measuring. That up there is measuring to the it's measuring to the uh, bolt. I mean, that's almost right onto And so is that. So yeah. So I think I'm gonna have them in there that way. This I don't really want to use up my brand new ones that I bought it to go for. I actually bought them for a plug in. So I think I've got some of them out. That's my. I always keep a, keep a lid in those coffee deals so that I can do that.
these are those oddball thread ones. That's why they're not on anything. And then those are the ones that are not on these. And the cool thing about these is you can fold that up like that and pour them just into a, a small mouth bottle. Okay, let's see. And here's my let's there's no now let's look at those brand new ones. I'm gonna show you that. Oh, oh there's some real cool displays. Because those other ones are thick, they were. I need something more thick than that. And let's go with the new ones. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, I'm not, I'm not looking at those ones. Because those are all matched. And uh, th these other ones look like they're a little bigger around. Which would be fine in a pair, you know. That's fine for it. Yep, it sure is. I don't believe it's metric. I think it's just an SAE fine for it. That's why I've got them all separated. Okay. So I've got to use my knees. That's all right. Yeah, I know. Taking forever being silly about my nuts and bolts. But I won't sit here and put them all back. I will wait till I'm done. I won't even mix them up anymore. Don't make you watch it anyway. But I won't put it on the back. I tend to want to put it in the back of the room. Okay, now. Yeah, that's kind of strange, but that gives me a more even space to drill me a hole. I could.